this is Dr. Müller and here I'm back with you to be on another EFT session. I was asked to do EFT on a topic which is very sensitive and this is rejection. We all know what a rejection is. We all were rejected or were rejecting someone so we know this feeling. And this feeling is really like oh, something which is not feeling very nice in our body and um, to come over that we have EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique, and I go with you through this whole episode with this headline. So rejection. First thing in EFT is we build our headline. We need to know what is going on with us. Why are we feeling so down or sad or any negative emotions come up? Our headline, rejection. So first you build your headline. Second is you create, scale your, your emotions from one to 10, how strong it is at the moment. So when you are just rejected by someone and it's emotions are super up high, it's eight, nine, 10. If you know that topic and you just wanna get better with that and um, this is just like a support for you, um, then it might be lower. So we go through it, scale it. Let's say rejection just happened and it's on an eight or nine. You feel really strongly emotional about what was going on at that moment just got this strong rejection going on. Next thing is we go over the points, the acupressure points, because emotional freedom technique is a combination of actually positive psychology and acupuncture or acupressure. So you tap on acupressure, acupressure points while you are working with your brain, with your mind, while you are thinking. The acupressure points, they deplock things and you will get a better insight with your really deeper side of yourself. You know, with this tapping and the same time thinking, you know right away whether this is real or whether you have to go deeper into your emotions. Let's start. Our first point is the karate chop point. We just tap it and we start with the rejection. I am so rejected. And now we go over with all the emotions which come up. Let's go. It's so painful. I'm, I'm, it hurts. I'm in pain. It is so painful. And you go over your emotions actually makes me so aggressive. How can he, she dare to hurt me like that? I'm aggressive, this makes me aggressive. What else? He just got rejected. Here, under their eye, next one. Oh, the old topic comes up. We all know this old topic. I'm not good enough. I just got rejected. I just got dropped. I'm not good enough. Oh, that's that's so painful that I'm not good enough I gave everything and now I'm not good enough it makes me angry again anger comes up who is this person telling me that rejecting me why am I rejected like that it's painful such a pain why wow, I feel this pain so now where do I feel the pain get physical get really physical and see where here your pain is coming is it your lungs that you can't breathe properly full of this anger and this wow i got rejected and hurt pain or is it more your heart it's so painful wow wow this is so painful i got so hurt what else is happening with you you just got so rejected I feel so hurt under the arms here. Last here, the small finger and um, the ring finger here, you just tap. Next, what is coming up? Take your time, just tap, 
go in the situation, see how it happened, review it, and get the emotion up. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm so disappointed. Whatever comes up, you tap it and you say it loud. It's important that you hear it again. You have to hear it. Am I disappointed? I don't know. As I say it, I know whether this is true or not, or whether it doesn't really get to, right to the point. For me, it, it's painful, it hurts, not good enough, my God. So the last point is up here, highest point of your head. You go through all those points and you see which one was the strongest. In my case, I would say, Topic, I'm not good enough. This is so oh, my feeling. All right. If you have done that, you take a deep breath, get it all out. Now you said it. It's there. It's out there. It's like a balloon in front of you. It's out there. So now what we do with this, it's out there. Best is it's out there. It's not here anymore. I shared it here it's in front of me so now this emotion is in front of you what is left here one big part of me knows that i am good enough that i am loved and especially by myself and that i am a wonderful being with all my things going on i'm not perfect i'm not a machine i do things right and wrong and i wish i would do things always right so i am wonderful this is what is sitting here besides my pain and what is going on this ball in front of me so now we tap exact this we combine the two, the negative ball here in front of us, our energy, our emotion, our negative emotion, and what is sitting here. So even though I am rejected, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I feel not good enough, I deeply love and accept myself. I love myself even though someone hurt me. I accept and love myself even though someone rejected me. Even though I feel this deep pain in every cell of my body deep love, appreciation, and respect for myself. Even though I feel this pain in my heart, I deeply love myself. And I deeply accept myself. I accept myself even though I am in pain at that moment. Yes, that can happen. This is out there, has nothing to do with me here. I'm still here. All right, even though I'm in such a pain, I deeply accept myself with all ups and downs, even though I feel terrible being dumped at that moment and hurt and fragile and everything. Wow, so painful behind my heart, my chest, my lungs. I deeply love and accept myself. So here you are. This is the negative emotion and this is our self-love and we just try to manage those two, that both are existing and this is all right.
we can feel sad and on the other side we have to know there is a huge part of us very strong powerful full of love take a deep breath just sit there for a few seconds take this all in put yourself in a straight position feel yourself so the EFT has now the third circle. We tap the same points. And now it's about the positivity. It's from positive psychology, so the positive, the positive effects. When I'm through this, when I'm not bothered by what, hap by what happened, how would I feel? So if there is some rejection coming in, and I, with whatever tool, exercise, or whatever I do, might be a meditation, EFT, or just out of nothing, if you are not touched by it, how would you feel when this happens at that time? Someone you dearly love disrespects you and rejects you, and you just can witness it. You can see, wow, that's sad, but you're not reacting emotionally so strong. How would you feel? All right, let's start. I am. We always start with, it happened already. It's there. It's now. It's not the future. It's the present. I am. Whew, I'm free. Wow, that's cool. When I can do that, I'm powerful. I'm so powerful. I'm strong. I am strong. I'm full of compassion. You see something and you can just let it be. I'm full of compassion. I'm strong. Wow. worth it. I'm so worth it. Wow. What I feel at the moment, I feel super safe with myself. Nothing can happen to me because I have, a, I know how to get myself straight again. Just go in my self-love. myself. don't need anyone. I just do that with myself. This is safe. Being safe. This is wonderful. Makes me so strong. I want to share that. So I'm strong. And radiant. Because when I feel that way, I mean, I'm radiant. I can spread it out in the world. This is, wow. I would just love to share it. I'm radiant. And the last point up here, how do I feel? And this is, when I get rejected, and I can just let it pass on, it goes through me. It's not meant for me. It's the other person's problem. And I can just leave it their problems. I hear it, accept it, Again, a deep, 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 deep breath. Wow, all this happiness, all this endorphins right now rushing through my system. I don't know how you feel. Wonderful. Wow. So now in EFT, we have to do the little part where we want to connect that with our deeper self and with some brain, left and right brain, actually want to hook it there. So our deep thoughts of being rejected they are somewhere there so we get them through the EFT in 
in another area of the brain and now the new the new the new person you are where you become what you are deeply and always were already but you know it now this we want to get in structures of your brain which you can get out easily so what we do we count from one to ten to five and five to one so this is one brain side which is activated by that just counting the rational side one two three four five five four three two one for us it seems to be simple but our brains still have to be activated on this rational side now the creative side this is activated by singing or by creating something. So let's sing quickly or hum something. Just something what comes up in your mind. Just activate this side of your brain. Very good. Next thing is now we want to get the position right in our brain. We do that with our eyes. Our eye movement is very, very much the one who puts things at a certain place in our brain so for example when i want to get an information what did i eat yesterday you have a certain look up there you saw that many times when people think so they get it from somewhere just reach it through their eye movement we do the same thing so what we just did we want to adapt it there so up down left right then we circle around and the other side around one circle to one side one to the other side now take a deep breath again wonderful congratulations you went through three circles of eft it's very demanding i know just take this in take a few seconds just sitting there feel your body how you feel and whether you can grab this rejection as you grabbed it at the very, very beginning. Is it still you? Did something change? Can you take it more easy? Or is it there and like from second, first second? So, take your time and scale again from one to 10. How strongly do you feel rejected? Now, everyone knows rejection. So whether it's just in the earlier past or a long time ago that you got rejected, everyone knows that. Everyone knows this feeling of being not good enough or hurt and pain. So for me right now, I can, it's a three, so I can just rate it on a three. And I would not do another circle because I feel already so, wow, very good with what I did at the moment. So now, if you don't feel less than six, one, two, three, four, five, you would do the same circle again. You sit there because you're not finished with it. It's still in you, running you through your system. Sometimes it takes three whole turns just scale if it's six and up you go through the same thing again the emotions will change a little bit and maybe something else comes up it's very interesting there are always things coming up since you are taking your time for yourself talking out loud what's going on. Take your time to find the feeling, the real feeling, emotions, what's coming up. There might be complete new things coming up. So take them, tap them. Through the tapping, you deblock everything. So this was one of the EFT sessions and the topic was rejection. I hope I could help and looking forward for our next sessions with you.